Hey everybody, welcome to another video review. It's been uh, a while since I've uploaded a new one. Um, just for the past couple weeks, I've been feeling a little bit more tired. And again, since I only do these at night, um, by the time everything sort of settled down, so I can have some time um, to do these reviews, uh, sometimes I just don't have a lot of energy and then I have to wake up you know, early for work and all of that. So yeah, it's been a while. Um, but I'd like to take the time now to sort of go over this beautiful model. Uh, this is a resin bust. The name is Caro Caracochila. Caracochila. I don't know um, what that means, uh, but that's the name of this bust. Um, I will type it out, of course, uh, so you can Google it and do some research on it if you wish. Um, I believe it's sculpted by a gentleman named uh, Abner Marin or Abner Marin. Um, and I think it's, it was sold by Blackheart Models a long time ago, a while back. The funny thing is this is one of their smaller models, uh, but in the world of miniatures, this is considered gigantic, of course. So this is painted uh, by the professional uh, miniature painter, Robert Carlson from Sweden. And of course, as with almost all of his work, this is a spectacular paint job. Um, I'd like to do a little bit of close-ups here. So very, very subtle layers. Um, it feels like she's coming alive from a rock. You can see the spines on her back. I'll try to use flash and stitch her together so you can get a little bit more detailed uh, work, a little bit more detailed pictures back here. Here's the back of her horns. So I don't really know much, um, I don't really know much story or history uh, for her. It's just an amazing sculpt, in my opinion. Very heavy, you know, um, for her size. It feels like it's at least a couple of pounds, maybe five pounds, six pounds, but a very hefty weight. But a beautiful detail of the sculpture. You can see sort of the horns and all the lovely detail of the horns. And then, of course, painted um, amazingly by Robert. You can see the little tiny speckles of white over there and then of course along here the glossy horns at the very top and moving down her face it's a very beautiful face symmetric for some reason it kind of reminds me of Uma Thurman I don't know if you can sort of see the resemblance, but the lips, the nose, and her eyes are closed. You see sort of the, the detailing of the scales. But yeah, you know, I mean, normally I try to only buy pieces that I have some sort of connection to via source material, comics, or story, or whatnot. But sometimes you do come across a piece that's so beautiful, you know, like, you know it's like fine art. And um, it's just a unique paint job married with a, um, a beautiful, beautiful sculpt. So I decided to get it. It sort of reminds me of um, the work of H.R. Giger. There's a certain alien type of feel for her, even though I don't believe there's any actual um, relationship, but it does remind me a little bit of, uh, of Giger's design, the sort of bio-organic or organo-metallic um, sort of juxtaposition. I believe this is probably, 
I want to say quarter scale, quarter scale bust, maybe a little bit larger. But uh, again, an incredible amount of detail with all the little horns, all the edges and scales, and then brought beautifully to life um, by Carlson. Okay, so I'm going to use the flash, which will wash out again some of the detail in the shadows, but um, can maybe shed, shed a little bit more light on some of the crevices that are harder to get a good look at. See you at the next section. So this is with the flash on. As you can see, you do wash out a lot of the shadows. You can get a much better appreciation of the detail of the sculpt, which is just phenomenal. So here it is. Checking out the back. The horns and the gloss. So again, the, the light sort of washes out a lot of the, the finer contrasts of the paint, but you have a much better look again at sort of the, the detail of the, the sculpt. And here's some of the stuff back here that you can't see as well without flash. Sort of see some of the subtle highlights of the makeup around the sides of the eyes and the forehead. And of course, the face. Backing out slowly. So yeah, Karoka Chilla, quarter size base painted by Robert Carlson. Overall, just a, a beautiful, beautiful work. And when I back out so that the light isn't reflecting off of her, you can kind of get to see her a lot better, a lot nicer. I'm really happy to have her in my collection. Hope you enjoyed that. It's a short little, short little diversion, but you, won't, you don't see many um, examples of something like this out there. Um, at least I haven't found anything. So again, I try to put things like this that's kind of unique, you know, for people who are interested in this sort of thing to appreciate. Until next time, take care.